What's going on YouTube? This is GrowerMD and uh, I'm here at my warehouse and I've had a lot of people ask to me to go over my electrical setup so uh, I figured since that was on my old channel and that video is no longer available that uh, I will make a video going over everything right now. So um, really quick what I have done is uh, you can see my sub panel is all the way over there and in that panel it is a 200 amp three phase power and you can see there's a conduit ran all the way around the side right there and I have a 125 amp breaker ran with four two conductor four gauge wire for each phase of that for the for the each line and the grounds and that is basically just wiring a sub panel back here in my control room so let's go ahead and show you guys what we got this is basically the heart of everything and uh, Right here on this wall is where I have wired in my sub panel. So you can see that the line is coming in right here at the bottom. And uh, it just powers, you know, really simple. It just comes into three different poles here. And so all my breakers are now on this sub panel right here, which controls everything. And I did this to centralize the power distribution between, you know, everything, because I have stuff on one side, both sides of it. So um, right here, I've got. This is my main breaker for my uh, my mother room and my flower rooms. And this, you can see here that in the center right here, it is, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm sorry because it's bad lighting here, guys. But it's it's a 50 amp 240 on the inside and then a 50 or 30 amp 240 on the outside. So the, the 50 amp is obviously controlling my 8,000 watt controller and the 30 amp is caught, is controlling my, um, my 4,000 watt controller. And and then everything else has its own dedicated outlet. So we've got the flower room A, flower room B, and the mother room outlets right there. We've got the drying room and the clone room outlets right there. And then this breaker right here is powering all the fluorescent and green lights that are in every room. And then this breaker up here, this 15, is controlling the timers outlets, which are right here. So um, basically right out of this box, you can see that uh, we've got a distribution box there and another distribution box up there which is open at the moment and uh, that's where the fluorescent and green lights distribute and go to they uh, they actually come in through the top of every room since I did wire in switches to control every one of them so um, that's where that those wires go these that go this way are providing the at base outlets for all the rooms and then Right here is where I have all my controllers and my ballasts. So um, you can see that I've mounted everything on this board right here and it's all painted white. Um, the, we have uh, our wires coming out of the, the, uh, the breaker box right here feeding up into the Helios 4 lighting controller right here. And this is uh, the 4000 watt controller for my mother room. Um, I really like this controller. It has, for those of you guys who use our, are going to use it with like a single room and a fan, it's got the 120 outlet that runs on the same timer cord. So if you're running uh, air cooled lights, air conditioners, whatever the case may be. And it also has a switch. And each one of these also has a trigger cable, which is marked by color to di um, dictate its room. And we drilled holes into this wood and ran all the cords behind it. And then you can see that those wires also continue out and they go up into this Helios 8, which is the 8,000 watt controller. And each side is a room, a 4,000 watt room. And each side also has a independent trigger cable, which is there and there, and they're both marked, and they go into this um, board behind here also. So all the cords for all of the ballast I had to manually, I had to get extenders for, and I have them all, you know, wire tied off feeding from each ballast and everything in here is organized um, based on the room and the layout of the entire warehouse so you'll see that this far left room of or this far left board over here with four ballasts on it is for the uh, flower room A which is the far left door and then if you are looking at the center one this is for flower room B which is the center door and then if you were looking at this one, it is for the mother room, which is this door. And that same orientation goes when, with the lighting controllers. So this row right here is flower room A, far left, far left ballast. Middle, middle ballast. And then far right controller, the right board. And every ballast in here is in the same order per room. So um, this blue, blue reflector, or the one that's marked blue blue is 
flower room B and front left reflector, front right, back left, back right, and then it goes middle room, front left, middle room, front right, vice versa, and, and all goes that way. So you can see that all the trigger cables, they come and they feed out right here and then they're all coming to my timers. So this is what I was explaining to you guys before is in my previous video was that I have right now, this is for my flower room B, which is currently on and it operates from five in the morning till five at night, so during the day. This right here is flower room B, which operates from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m., which is evening. And then this is my mother room, which operates from uh, it comes on at 4 p.m. and off at 10, 10 a.m. so it has a little daytime rest and yeah and so I'm able to control all of these independently this I just have split off so that I can have uh, this fan right here which oscillates to cool my reflectors I mean my ballast so that they all stay cool to the touch and having them spaced and hung in this orientation uh, has been able to keep them all really cool and um, everything really organized so it, it really is nice to be in here now the one downside that I did have to do with this uh, type of setup is that obviously I had to manually extend all of my um, reflector cords. So I cut every, that, that was the reason why all my reflectors are only hanging down um, as like I think it's about to where they're six feet off of the ground um, because I put the, I hung them down, fed, fed all the cords up through, I sealed them with tape and expanding foam and then I cut the cords and then all of those had to be manually extended with uh, some wire that I had to buy from Home Depot and they were all you know routed up and secured evenly so that I could control everyone from here now it's very important to note that you know when the manufacturer doesn't really recommend re uh, going more than 50 feet I believe when you extend a cord and that's uh, their very maximum and so if you guys do plan to do anything like this, it's important to know that it's, uh, it can be dangerous if you extend them too far. So really check your distances when you do it. Um, fortunately for me, I only have 36 feet at max of room width to go. So I know I was under that for sure. And uh, yeah, it's worked out really well. Um, this I have, I have no problems with any of my breakers ever tripping. Every room has its own dedicated item and every lighting controller has its own dedicated item also. So the nice thing about it is that if any of the air conditioners were to fail, all the fans would stay on in, in case the, uh, the lights do not turn off because it is all powered externally in here. So uh, I do have you know protection there to make sure that my plants don't see any damage. It just might get a little warm without the AC, but I think we would still be okay with the exhaust. So anyway guys, um, that's pretty much my uh, electrical setup that I have going on right now. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I've done here um, or need me to go into a little bit more detail, then uh, let me know. Other than that, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.